Hey there folks, hi. This video is literally carrying right on from the last one. This is the last video, was me making these. So what I'm going to do now, I actually already had one. I already had one thrown from the other day. I had a guy come on a Zoom class and I we did one together. He he did his and I did I did mine. Um but I'm going to to show you how to trim this. So this this is following on right on the heels of that last that last video. Okay. So what have I got? Have I got my trim tool here? Yes, I have. I've got my trim tool. Good. Put that there. My scraper. I'm going to clean off the wheel head. We've just thrown that. The the last video just threw that. Um, the the previous one. Okay, so this is now leather hard, so I can work on it. Let's see. Okay. So, the first thing we want to do, um, I'm going to just, first of all, let's just, just damp the wheel head here, touch, tap center. We're going to tap center. Like that, we're going to give it a bit of downward pressure and I'm just going to with my with my trim tool here I'm just going to lightly skim the very very top there so the top is flat So that is fitting fairly well. So what we basically have to do is, is we shouldn't really need to do much to the outside. Although I, I quite often do, I get fussy and I kind of, I, I want to fiddle. I'm actually using my throwing stick to just pushing, using my throwing stick up against the, the leather hard clay just to For example, if there are any kind of throwing rings there that you might not want, you can use your throwing stick if you have one like I have. Not all throwing sticks are created equal, has to be said. But actually, using the throwing stick, I can sort of in a broad way just, I'm not removing a lot of clay, that's not the idea. I'm just you see what I'm doing? I'm just skimming off a little there, not much. So this should already have a, a bevel on the bottom there. Okay. So I think the that's looking okay. Okay, I'm just going to remove a very, very small smidgen of, of clay there. Okay. As I said to you in a previous video, lids you need to be, they take a little bit of care to fit them up, you know, so that they um, are nice, you know. I'm going to turn the lid upside down on top of here and just very lightly take away a little bit of material there. So 
here, um, the angle here is very slightly cut like that. You see what I mean? It's not dead flat across. I haven't trimmed it dead across like that. It's actually more like that. So it's got a very slight angle because that is going to marry up with the angle here, if you see what I mean. Okay, I think, I think that's okay. So, just a bit of water there now, just with my fingertips, just lightly smooth that off, that's it. Give it a couple of taps, it'll come off. Now what we need to do here at the bottom is with a damp finger, simply let's bring it up to the camera for a bit of detail. So you can see there is a bevel there in, in place which I put when I threw. Okay, this is why we do this. You break the corner, always break your corners. Don't leave sharp, horrible, ragged, chippable corners. Apart from being de dead ugly, they chip. Okay, so what we've got to do next is trim the lid. All right, so. A few dabs of water there, a little bit of dab of water around there. Tap center. And a little bit of pressure just to attach him to the wheel head. Okay, so these, li these lids, as this lid will, will show you, I'll show you, um, are not trimmed across sort of like dead flat. If I put my straight edge, my, my, my throwing stick is a, str a straight edge, you can see it's, it's got a, it's higher in the middle than it is at the edges. It's very slightly domed, okay? We like that because it's, it's visually better. Okay, but at the moment it's flat, so we, we've got to carefully now lower, lower it down to the, from the centre down. Okay, so something if you don't feel you've got enough height in the middle here to make it as domed as you want to, okay, there you can you can carefully push it, push it up there. You see, like I'm doing. Just do it carefully, though. That's why you don't want to. When I said, remember, when you're throwing the in the last video, when you're throwing these. Don't throw them too thin in the bottom because you don't have any leeway then to do just what I'm doing here. You won't be able to do that. Okay, I've, very slightly I've, I've just raised that a touch. So, a little bit of water there, put that down. Tap center. Okay. All right, back again now. So I'm breaking off the corner there, like that. I'm not breaking off the corner, I'm just breaking, I was breaking the corner there very slightly. So it's useful to have your 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 mirror because it gives you a sideways view a little bit and you can see I can see how much dome there is by checking in the mirror And if you're not sure, you can, you see, 
We've got a bit of dome there. All right, the angle of the side here of the wall. Uh, I like it to be. I don't know if you can see that one, but again, this is this is sort of like it's very slightly, very slightly, very slightly bowed, but with a tendency to to be coming to coming in in here the diameter on the on the top corner there across is just a fraction more than it is down here across at the base okay so again slightly slightly bowed but also slightly inclined in but not too much otherwise the lid you won't be able to lift off the lid with confidence because it will be it'll be wanting to slip out your hand. All right, I think that's it. Quite often what I like to do is use my use my fingers that which are kind of dry just to rub over the like I'm doing here. What I'm doing is actually I'm very slightly compressing the surface of the clay which is rendering it a little a little smoother and sometimes from the trimming if you get any grog I do have grog in this clay and sometimes a piece of grog will, will catch on the tool and drag all the way around it leaves the line you see. So effectively what I'm doing is uh, I'm doing a very simple uh, burnishing exercise, which is what com which is what burnishing is. It's it's basically compressing the surface of the clay. Okay, carefully now, give it a little pull. We'll put that back on the wheel. that back on top of there, tap centre that, uh, just a few little dabs of water there, I'm just, because it was face down on the wheel, you know. All right, that's it. That's uh, why don't I put that one next to that one? Yes, 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 indeed. It may not be the same size, but so there you you have. Um, there's two, two examples. One is wet, having just been thrown, and this one is, is now leather hard. And um, waiting for the seal of the maker. Let's see if I've got that handy. I've got my seal box somewhere. My little seal box. Um, yeah, if you have seals, keep them in a box. And then you won't, and be disciplined about um, putting the seal back in the box. So here's the underside that I'm just trying to show you the you can see there the the pattern that the the 
the cutoff wire leaves on the bottom of the pot. It's not a wiggle wire, it's just you see, because it's it leaves this this kind of pattern, it, it traps air underneath the pot. That what is what why the pot is very easy. If you palm lift it off, it's very easily to come off. It prevents re-sticking down on the wheel head. Okay. Let's see if we can get this seal on here. I usually like to put it about there where the where the pattern kind of comes together. Okay. The maker's seal. Uh, try and get in the habit of using a seal. Don't be a scratcher. Too many scratches out there. It's like you've all got fleas. <laughs> okay folks, there it is. There it is. And here is this. As I said in the last video, that wheel, a finished wheel, ready for somebody for pickup. I'm not shipping it. I do have another wheel though that is a kit wheel which is available to be shipped if somebody wants that. 2200 for the kit wheel, 2400 for this one which is just put together. You know, this has actually saved you a bit of a lot of time because it's been varnished, five coats of varnish. Thin coats, you know, and it's it's all been it's all been you know assembled. It hasn't it hasn't been oiled up or anything, you know. It hasn't had a pot thrown on it yet. If somebody's interested in that, give me a shout. Um, so yeah, that is it. Zoom zoom clay. If you're interested in zoom clay or just coming on a workshop. Give me a shout. Uh, if you want Zoom Clay, just go to the website. I think there's a thing there where you can uh, just get onto a class. You don't even have to contact me. You can just book a class. It sends me an email, and then I'll contact you, and we'll arrange when it when it's convenient. Okay. Thanks for joining me, folks. I hope that's helpful to you. As always, keep practicing. I'll see you soon. I'll see you around town. Take care. Bye-bye.